I joined the University of Houston in 2016 as a professor in electrical engineering. And just to tell my, about myself, before joining, I was in the University of Texas at Dallas for four years as a distinguished professor. And before that, I worked for six years as a chief technologist in Rolls-Royce Corporation. And before that, I worked for General Motors and Delphi for 17 years in the area of electrical hybrid and fuel cell vehicles. I was a chief scientist uh, before I left uh, Delphi. My f research focus right now is focused on uh, sev several uh, aspects, I would say. Uh, our major, uh, one of the major things, uh, work, uh, our research area is on the subsea electrification. Means uh, electrification of oil and gas extraction because Houston is the energy capital of the world. So we have a lot of energy industries and they are all interested in the extraction of the oil in the ocean, particularly on the subsea. So subsea have a lot of electrical loads, uh, they a lot of electrical motors. But how do you power those motors? So what we want to do is uh, to provide the renewable energy sources for generating electrical power and then feed that, use that power for feeding the motors. My favorite area of which I've been working for a long time is the electrification of transportation. So right now we are looking at the architectures for the distributed power or distributed propulsion system based the aircraft and also how to protect the cables. Uh, more focus on subsea electrification. Although our consortium is power electronics, energy storage, microgrids and uh, electrical systems consortium, but most of the work is the energy related industries, particularly for the subsea projects. I personally teach two courses, one per semester, one in the spring semesters, I generally teach renewable energy systems, renewable energy and distributed power generation systems, and in the fall I te teach adjustable speed drives. Overall, we offer about nine courses in the area of power and energy systems at the graduate level and four courses at the undergraduate level. In the course, what they learn is, particularly when I teach, I make sure that they are well suited to industries because I worked in industry for more than 25 years. So when the students take my course, I want to make sure that when they go to industry, they start working directly on projects related to the industry. And also we do a lot of real-time simulations and we use a lot of Typhoon units. I tell all my students they have to learn the real-time simulations because now the electronics contro controls have developed so much, you don't have to build a inverter or a controller every time you need to develop a unit or a product because most of the things you can do by evaluating in a real-time system. In one semester, you cannot build an inverter, controller, and develop everything and test it because if they start building the units, then they won't have time to test because the semester is only four months. But the Typhoon is like an oh, inverter and motor drive system already built for you. Everything is there. You just need to test it. Turn it on and test, observe the waveforms and study how the dynamics and all those things work and what are the problems, what are the transient problems, steady state, how does it work. Those things students can directly understand rather than they start developing soldering and buying the units. That will take more than two or three semesters. Very easy to use. Typhoon is very handy, helpful and uh, convenient to use and very si simple to understand. Many of them got their job by telling that, oh, they work on real-time simulation, they use the Typhoon. Oh, we want uh, that type of experience. For example, uh, one of my students works for a company in Houston. So he uses a Typhoon to even develop megawatts of converters. So, so he developed the, conver the system, the control strategy in the Typhoon and use the same controller and put it in the megawatt inverter and runs the system. user-friendly.